look at all the materials that we need to make our coffee cup holder. So when I purchased my last coffee, I saved the sleeve that it came with. So I created the pattern. So when you create your pattern from your paper sleeve, what you need to do is have this turned around so the writing is facing you. I can't do that right now because obviously I'm going to be advertising a brand of certain coffee. And you want to make sure that the pretty side of the fabric is facing up. And then you are going to get your second piece and make sure that it mirrors like so. So you can have two pieces like this of your fabric. Then I am going to have some fusible interfacing that I am going to adhere with my iron. I'm also going to have a button and if you guys don't know I'm completely obsessed with cats. And also we're going to have a little piece of elastic that has fallen off my desk. Oh no it's right here. So I have a little bit of elastic and this is going to be to hold onto my button. So it's going to hold the two ends together. First things first, I am going to adhere one of my fabric pieces to my fusible interfacing. Check with your manufacturer's instructions to know how long you have to press this for. So I'm going to attach this to this. We have to get one cat in the video. I was going to get one cat and then I found the second one. He was right here. Hey guys. Hey baby. Like seriously, I haven't had one of them guys in my videos for such a long time. But moving on, back to the sewing. So now what you have is one piece of fabric that has some fusible interface in. And we're going to put the two right sides together, like so. And then we're going to place our piece of elastic at one of the ends. Now look how I've done this, your loop is going to rest on the inside and the raw edges of that elastic is going to be on the outsides. And then we are going to close this up and I'm going to pin this in place together so my two ends stay together. Just like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to sew all the way around However, we're going to leave a little bit of gap at the bottom so we can pull everything through and then we're going to be able to close this up at the end. See, when you're not looking for one, one turns up. Is that comfy? Now, it really doesn't matter where you start to sew. All that I want you to remember is that you need to leave a gap. One of the reasons I love my machine is this pivot feature. So every time I stop, it automatically raises my presser foot. So before I pull this through, I am going to trim off a little bit around so it's closer to the stitches, but don't cut too close to stitches because I don't want you to break them. And I have my little opening right here. That is all now tidied up. Let's pull this through. Now my machine does stitch on buttons. However, this particular button is a little bit different because I it's not just a normal button, so I'm gonna have to hand sew it. So you're just gonna pull all this through like so, and I'll meet you back here when I'm done. Now I'm gonna go around and I am gonna top stitch all of this down. And in doing so, it is going to close up that opening at the top. All that was left to do was to hand stitch the button on and my coffee holder was complete. I hope you've enjoyed watching how to make this coffee cosy. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss seeing my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.